Good evening. Tonight, there are fewer foreign fish threatening the state's marine life. A movement to rid Hawaii waters of invasive species is gaining momentum. KITV4's Shane Enright is live in our newsroom with more. Shane? Pamela, at a spearfishing tournament today, divers took aim at clearing out fish harmful to Hawaii's marine life. And the winner is... With a catch of nearly 50 fish, teammates Mike Hatcher and Shane Kabilis were today's big winners. 47.7 pounds total. 30 teams participated in the spearfishing tournament. They covered a five-mile stretch of reef fronting Ko'olina while targeting three of Hawaii's invasive fish species. The toa, or snapper, the ta'ape, and the roy. For every year, a single roy needs to eat 140 fish to survive. So for every, every roy that we take off the reef, we're saving 140 to 150 baby fish. Also, by ridding the reef of Roy, the divers are keeping people from getting sick. Roy has a high amount of cigatera, a toxin which causes severe side effects when eaten. A large number of people become sick every year by eating fish that they can't, that they can't verify are unsafe to eat. Researchers with the University of Hawaii will study the fish to improve detection of cigatoxin. We have an opportunity to uh, avail ourselves of this wonderful sampling technology to get our, uh, our ROY for analyses back in the laboratory. I don't know what the total pieces are, but it's a lot. It is the second year Chris Tyler hosted the tournament. He plans to return next year to continue to educate the public on the harm caused by invasive fish. As far as this area goes, just maybe have an impact on, on trying to clear these fish out so the, the more desired fish can, can grow and have a chance. Today's tournament spared a total of 200 invasive fish. Reporting live, Shane Enright, KITV4 News.